Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a different kind of a video. So this December I was fortunate to get to travel uh, for about three weeks of the month, the first start of December. I traveled all over. I actually went to Tennessee, I went to Florida, but I was able uh, to go to uh, two places out of the country. One is Turks and Caicos, uh, which is a little place uh, southeast of the Bahamas. It's uh, the British Isles. Um, cool, very cool place. And I also got to go to Cuba. So during my trip, I thought, how cool would it be if I looked at some of the gyms and got a lift at some of these different gyms in these countries? And so I did that. Number one is I didn't want to take all December off of lifting. I'm about to start a barbell medicine powerlifting program. I actually already have started it, but I knew that going into this big trip and I didn't want to take a whole month off. So I decided, hey, let's see what kind of gyms uh, Turks and Caicos and Cuba have to offer for a power lifter like myself. So uh, the Cuba video will be my next video. Uh, that's going to be insane. The equipment was absolutely insane. Handmade, there's some Russian bars, but outside of the few Russian bars, I mean, you, you got to see it. Very, very cool. Turks and Caicos, a little bit different. So um, obviously they're able to import equipment. Um, I went to three different gyms in Turks and Caicos. I went to a place called the Graceway Sports Center, which is basically like a community center. Uh, it has football fields, soccer fields, I guess. Uh, it has tennis courts, racquetball courts, basketball court, uh, pretty big free weight uh, open gym. It had a, a downstairs that had some TRX stuff did have a power rack, some different things. Um, I was really, I was really surprised to see a couple different things. One, it had some rogue echo bikes, uh, which was cool in the cardio section of the gym. Two, it had some equipment I didn't expect to see there. It had a Texas power bar, a very rusty Texas power bar, but I did not expect to see a Texas power bar in Turks and Caicos. Additionally, it had a Kabuki strength transformer bar. Just laying there. Looked like it had gotten some use. The day I was there, nobody touched it. It was just kind of laying on the ground. Uh, but to see a Kabuki Strength, Tex uh, Kabuki Strength Transformer bar in Turks and Caicos, um, when that, the shipping on that uh, couldn't be cheap. Uh, that was surprising to me. And if you don't know anything about Turks and Caicos, it's kind of expensive because they have to import everything. So like groceries and that kind of thing are really expensive. Uh, restaurants are expensive so I can't imagine it wouldn't be pretty darn expensive to get a, uh, a Texas power bar there kabuki strength uh, transformer bar I also saw things like American made mag grips which I thought was cool um, and they had things like TRX stations and that kind of stuff one thing that I saw that was really surprising was I went upstairs and I lifted kind of you know, just, just filled around the gym and, and, and just, just looking and seeing and trying to talk to people. I went downstairs, looked around. Then I made my way through a hallway and I saw a rogue, brand new, never used, massive uh, dumbbell rack. Just sitting in a, a abandoned in a hallway by itself, <laughs> just sitting there. And I thought that was interesting. Why would they have a rogue uh, dumbbell rack they, they didn't really have um, a need for it because upstairs they had, did have dumbbells, uh, but they, they already had a rack. So maybe they're going to replace it. I don't know how they came across this piece of equipment, but uh, very nice, very sturdy. You know how Rogue is. Everything's overbuilt. No, and, and it was no different with that. They also had a pair of Bowflex adjustable dumbbells, which I thought was interesting to see because they, they did have other dumbbells. They, they actually had a set of, of decent dumbbells, but they had a, bow, a Bowflex adjustable set right there. They really had just about everything a guy would need uh, to, to work out. I would even say to power lift. You know, they had a good bench station, a couple of them. They did have a squat rack that, that wasn't ideal, but if you went downstairs, they had a power rack. Uh, and obviously you can do just about everything you need to do in a power rack and a Texas power bar. And then uh, they had a, a trap bar and some different things. Not really a, an isolated, dedicated place for, for deadlifts. 
but you could have deadlifted downstairs no problem i didn't see any deadlift bars or anything like that but overall it was a really cool uh facility um, i was surprised to see some of the different things that i saw um, and overall it was one of my favorite gyms that i got to go to in turks and caicos so let's look at some footage here of the facility this facility was by far the biggest of any of the gyms I went to, either in Turks, or Cake, Turks and Caicos or in Cuba. Really, really big facility. Not only was the actual building really large, uh, the outdoor area was, was pretty massive as well. Uh, there's those Rogue Echo bikes. Also some Concept2 rowers, which were nice. Some ski ergs, uh, which I was surprised to see. These are Troy dumbbells and they went up to 150, so that was pretty impressive. Um, and they had a full set, so. So that was nice. This was an X Mark uh, barbell. That was in the downstairs. That was by the uh, Texas Power Bar of the station that if a guy was going to do some deadlifts that'd be probably where to go also a little boxing setup trx setup as well and they have some tires a lot of different equipment uh, pretty nice equipment too everything from hack squat machines to leg press machines and so forth this was interesting i wanted to lower that pin but it was rusted to where i couldn't get that pin out so um, it was just too tall for me. I have short arms. I'm like a little alligator. So I couldn't use that because I couldn't move the pins. Uh, here's the, it's actually a rig. It's not a power rack. It's a pretty big rig where that Texas power bar was and the humidity there. Boy, everything just rusts. And then outdoors, very pretty country. Uh, pretty massive uh, basketball court there. They also have ice hockey. Um, I noticed some pictures and then two big soccer fields one is uh was grass one was astroturf they also had what looked like a beach volleyball but they had hockey nets in there and then they had tennis so overall really really neat facility so that was fun i also went to two other gyms one of the gyms that i went to was a place called uh, rightfully fit rightfully fit uh, was a smaller gym owned by a guy I actually got to meet the the owner uh, from Pittsburgh so this was an American that moved down to Turks and Caicos he was a trainer he had trained some of the stars he had said and and I looked at his Instagram and he has pictures with some pretty famous people but a really fit guy um, I actually got to meet him because I was taking some footage. Nobody was in there at the time and he came out. They had cameras. He wanted to see what I was doing uh, as the owner. And I let him know, hey, I'm just, I'm filming this for my YouTube channel. Is that okay? But one thing I noticed about this gym was it was clean. That was the vibe of the gym. That was the theme of the gym is he really wanted it to be clean. And when I mentioned that to him, he was like, yeah, that's what I was going for. The other thing is it's not a very big space. So when you don't have a very big space, such as my little gym here at home, you have to find equipment that's going to have multiple purposes. So when I went and benched uh, at the bench station, I noticed the bench was an adjustable bench, uh, similar to what I have, but uh, di different, similar but different, uh, where that station could be made into an incline bench, decline bench, or flat bench station. So they also had a, a, a pretty nice power rack. Um, with with spotter arms uh, I did squats there I didn't really have perfect shoes to squat I didn't really have a belt so I didn't squat very heavy but nice equipment um, good machines and ultimately it was one of the one of it was a great experience and it was probably the cleanest gym that I went to on my entire trip Okay, the third gym I went to was Extreme Fitness, another gym that was a little bit smaller. When I went to this gym, I saw pictures of a really big bodybuilder, right? And I didn't think much of it. Oh, there's a big bodybuilder. Uh, and then as I was lifting and, and looking at the different equipment, I saw a big, huge dude come in. 
and I'm pretty sure that was the bodybuilder, but he, I didn't get a chance to talk to him. He kind of darted to his office. Um, but a nice gym. I was able to talk to a couple different people. Again, not very big. Um, but really, everything you need, uh, really nice equipment. Um, and let's look at some footage there of, of that gym. A lot of the equipment seemed to be newer. A lot of Nautilus equipment. Uh, there was some hammer strength, which uh, for those of you that know hammer strength, it's expensive. Um, there's a hammer strength machine right there. A couple different hammer strength machines. Uh, Denali plates, Denali dumbbells, uh, those, those curls, curl bars are all Denali. Those were all nice. Like I said, some Nautilus, um, a lot of Life Fitness, Cybex. As you can, as you can tell, uh, a decent sized gym, but really it, it, it looks bigger because they use this space really well in here. Muscle D, there was some Muscle D machines, also a Muscle D bar. I don't know if you noticed that earlier. It's not something I'm familiar with, but uh, it looked like decent decent quality there's a smith machine wait till you see the smith machine in the in the cuba video that's coming up subscribe if you want to see that video homemade cuba uh, homemade smith machine in cuba it was pretty pretty amazing but there's some different attachments those are not uh, american made mag attachments they're the knockoffs but still pretty nice and then notice the cardio room everything's life fitness uh, and pretty uh, newer equipment, life fitness, stair steppers, and treadmills, and ellipticals. Notice how beautiful Turks and Caicos is when I peek out the window here. Man, it's a it's a beautiful country. And the locker room, tiny little locker room, but it gets the job done. Uh, it's got a urinal, little toilet. That's about it. So and a little teeny shower. So Turks and Caicos, what an experience to get a go and check out some of the different gyms uh, in the, in the British Isles and Turks and Caicos. Now. Where I was at, Turks and Caicos is uh, a bunch of little islands. Um, I was on Provincialis, which they call Provo, which is kind of the main island there. Um, and even on that small little main island, I was able to find three nice gyms that were able to, uh, for me, uh, give me really everything I needed to do, I needed to utilize or, 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 or wanted for me to be able to, to train right uh not a specific powerlifting gym but a, but but nice gyms with kind of fun different equipment so i recommend if you're out and you're you're traveling to a different country go to some of those gyms because it was really fun it was some of the uh, most memorable things that i did on my trip and right after i left there i went to cuba wait till you see that video the gyms in cuba are insane I kind of mentioned it earlier, everything's handmade. It is absolutely insane. That video is next. I hope you enjoyed this one. Until next time, adios.